really. You know, Allah has blessed this ummah and the Muslims especially, you know, in, in this part of the world with so much wealth and so much luxury that we have forgotten what it is to have favors from Allah. And here we have our youth whining about things that if the people, the people in some parts of the Muslim world, they only dream about those things and we're complaining about them. Oh man, only one kind of soda in the fridge? You know, there are kids in the Muslim world that haven't had water for two weeks. You know, they've, they're drinking out of mud, literally. And here we, we are, we become so ungrateful. And this is again, when you become distant, the one who doesn't remember the merciful, the one who doesn't remember Allah, doesn't remember their place in the world. They become full of themselves, and that's where you get all of these problems. When, you're not, when you don't remember who you are, you're a servant of Allah, and Allah is our provider, and He is the provider of all. May Allah Azza wa Jalla eliminate hunger from the world. Anyhow, so I'm coming to a close because Salah is approaching also. Another kind of friend that is mentioned in the Quran is a walij. Walijah, literally, actually. Okay? وَلَمْ يَتَّخِذْ بِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَا رَسُولِهِ وَلَا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلِيجَةً this, this actually is a kind of friend who you trust so much that they're actually involved in your private matters. They help you out maybe in a business transaction or loaning you money or things like that or you got into a dispute and they're helping you manage that dispute or something like that, right? This is the kind of friend that's wali. This is only supposed to be a Muslim. You can be casually friends with a non-Muslim, that's fine. You could say, hi, how's it going, whatever. Can I borrow a pencil or something at school? But the people that are involved in your personal life shouldn't be anything other than believers, true believers. And not even alladheena amanu al mu'mineen, which implies the strongest of believers. These are the people you should trust your affairs with. Lastly, ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la tattakhidu bitanatan min dunikum la ya'lunakum khabar. Last kind of friend. Those of you who believe, hear this warning carefully. Allah says, don't take secret keeping friends outside of yourselves. What does it mean outside of yourselves? What do you think? What do you think it means outside of yourselves? Those of you that are still awake. Outside of Muslims. Don't have friends that keep your secrets outside of any Muslims. La yaklunakum khabala wa dhu ma'amikum. They will leave no stone unturned in causing you harm. And they really do want what will harm you. Non-Muslims will give you what kind of advice? Non-Muslim kind of advice. Non-Muslim kind of advice will benefit you or harm you? It will only harm you. You think it will benefit you? It will only harm you. What do ma'anibtum? You know, they want what will harm you. They don't even know what will harm them. They're so ignorant. That's why they're not Muslim. <laughs> If they knew what was good for them, they would be on Islam. You know, a time will come when disbelievers are going to wish that they had been Muslims. Had they only known. You know, had, they, had we only known. If we only heard and understood. These are the kinds of complaints that disbelievers will make. So these were a few things about different kinds of friends that are mentioned in our sacred literature. The bottom line though, the thing that runs through this entire talk, the thread that connects it all was the first hadith that I mentioned to you. A person depends on the religion of who? The friend. Watch out who you make friends with. The parents here, watch out who your kids are friends with. Make sure that you make them friends with people that are better role models for them rather than opening doors to sins for them. If you want your parents, to, your kids to not have problems anymore, no, you can't take them to any imam who will recite something over them and and their problems will disappear. That's not going to happen, right? There's not a speech they're going to listen to that will change their character. It might affect them a little bit. What will really affect them in the long run? Their friends. Their friends. And the young people here, take this advice seriously. You know, I can't, I can't make you do anything. I can't make you change your friends. I can't cha make you change your profile on Facebook and the 500 people that are already, you know, connected with you or whatever. These friends, these strangers that you call friends, they're not your friends. They're not going to care about you. Right? The, the people who care about you, I, I hopefully I tried an outline, inshallah ta'ala. The last thing I'll, I'll, I'll share, I know I, I said these are all the kinds of friends, but there's one that I didn't mention on purpose, because I was kind of, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but maybe I should mention it. Allah Azza wa also speaks of akhdan, friends that you are attracted to. Nowadays we call it boyfriend or girl, girlfriend. Allah speaks about that in the Quran too. Allah says when you're looking to get married, it's not just that you're looking to find akhdan. It's not just some you know, shallow infatuation. Marriage is far more to us than it will, it will ever be to the non-Muslim. Marriage to the Muslim is far, far more. It is not something shallow like, oh, she's cute, I want to marry her. No. It's far more responsible. 
So don't be given, don't give in to these lowly standards, these at lower than animal standards that have been set for you by pathetic media that you are hypnotized by, by watching it every single day, like, you know, a bunch of animals that haven't been given, given their food to eat at the farm that they start whining, you start whining when the next episode's gonna air because you're so addicted, right? If that's how pathetic you've become, then you're losing your humanity, seriously. Lose your addictions, lose your addiction to entertainment. Lose your addiction to the, you know these kinds of lowly things, and uh, if you have, if you've gotten, if you become part of a relationship, and this is a reality of the Muslim youth, if there's some girl you've been texting or talking to or getting together with or some boy, if that's happening, nobody knows. I am not saying I know, but if that's happening, walk away, walk away from it, save yourself now. No, you you think nobody's watching? Allah is watching. Allah knows. You think you're out of trouble because your parents don't know? Allah knows, and that's far more trouble. Believe me, that is far. If you have an ounce of belief left, then walk away from those situations. Just, just walk. Don't, you don't have to say, by the way, I heard this speech, I'm walking away. No, just walk away. Leave it. Inshallah ta'ala. May Allah protect our, our youth from all kinds of trials that surround them. يا ويلتا يا ويلتا ليتني لن أتخذ فلانا خليلا لقد أضلني عن الذكر بعد إذ جاءني وكان الشيطان للإنسان خذولا وقال الرسول يا رب إن قوم اتخذوا هذا القرآن مهجورا